the commands required for this experiment are node mcu board two servo motors connecting wires and connecting cable Now log in to the bling.cloud website and go to templates page. Here click on new template and give the template name. Servo motor control using ESP8266. And select the hardware as ESP8266 and connection type as Wi-Fi. Then click on the done button. Now go to data stream. In this project, we are using two servo motors. For that, we need four data streams. Two data streams are for the sliders and the another two for the gauge output. So the gauge outputs are optional. We can ignore that also. Now go to new data stream and select the virtual pin. The first one is for the servo motor one. And the select the pin as V0, data type integer and unit is degree. And the maximum value is 180 degree. Now click create. And now create the second one. Here also select virtual pin. And the variable name is servo2. And the variable pin is v1. Data type is integer and the maximum value is 180 degree. Now we need to create the gauge uh, data, data variables for the gauge. Select new data stream virtual pin. Servo output 1. This is for the first servo motor. Pin is v2. Data type is integer and unit is degrees. And here also the maximum value is 180 degree. Now the final one. This is for the servo motor 2. Servo output 2. And the pin is V3. Data type integer. Unit is degrees. And the maximum value is 180 degree. Then click create. Now go to web dashboard and drag two sliders and two gauge widgets. Now go to the settings of the slider and select the data stream as servo 1. And then click the gauge of the first uh, servo motor and select the servo output 1. Click save. Now go to the second slider and here select the servo 2. Click save. And now go to the settings of the gauge 2. So here select this variable. This is for the second servo motor. Now click save the template. Now go to the search button. Go to new device. Then click from template and select the template name which we created. And then cl click the create button. Now copy this template ID, template name and authentication token and paste in your program. And then enter the Wi-Fi username and Wi-Fi password. And then select the board from tools, board, ESP8266 and select node MC 1.0. And then select the port. And click this arrow button and upload the program to the node MC board. Now the program is uploaded and we can set up the mobile dashboard. Now we can set up the Blink mobile dashboard. For that, download the Blink IoT application from the Play Store. Now open this application. And once you log in, you can see the template which we created on the Blink web dashboard. Now click on the template and go to settings. Here we need to add the same widgets like we did in the web dashboard. Click this plus button. Add two sliders. Then add two gauge widgets. Now, go to this first slider, click on that and select the data stream, servo 1 and click the second one. Here we need to select the data stream as servo 2. 
then go back then click on the first gauge and here the select the data stream as servo output one and now click the second one here also we need to select the data stream now go back again go back now the setup is completed and now we can check the output 